guys what's up this is gonna be my video on the top 10 best city tweaks uh city apps and city mods for your device uh running ios 4 ios 4.0.1 4.1 4.2 and above now th now all the city tweaks that i list in this video will be in the description below in case you missed it uh, all these city tweaks are available in Cydia and these are all paid city tweaks but uh there will be more information uh in the description box below on how to get these city tweaks with repos instead so you can get these city tweaks for free now all of these city tweaks will be listed from 10 uh being uh the last city tweak but yet it is still has some usability and number one being the best city tweak and is the most useful uh, for a jailbroken iPhone user. Now, the first city tweak is Icon Renamer. Now, Icon Renamer can be very useful depending on how you use your apps. Uh, if you want to rename them instead of the standard uh, app names that are stock with your device, even when it is jailbroken. So then, for example, you can uh, tap on an application once it is in wiggle mode. And then you can change uh, the name of any app that you would like. So instead of uh, the Safari browser being called Safari, uh, you can change it to browser, for example. And all you have to do is press apply right there. And then, as you can see right there, instead of saying Safari right there, it says browser instead, which is uh, very cool. Now the next city tweak in this video will be on Switcher Mod. So now this city tweak comes in handy when you are uh, multitasking a lot and you want to uh, give customized features to your multitasking bar. Uh, for example, uh, you can uh, delete all of these apps currently have a X over it, so it's much easier to delete them instead of putting your uh, multitasking apps uh, that are currently multitasking into wiggle mode then deleting them one by one instead you can just simply tap on uh, the delete button on the left uh, corner of the app and there also is many more features in settings so then if you open up settings Once settings is open, you'll go to Switcher Mod. Now, as you can see, there are many customizational features that are in the Settings tab, including Show Current App, Closed Box Style, uh, Hide Icon Labels, No Wiggle Animation, uh, and much more. Now, uh, the next city tweak in this video is called Masks. Now, as you can see right there, uh, as you can see right there, all of the icons are themed into a custom shape instead of the standard uh, look of the icons, even uh, when you when your device is jailbroken. So as you can see right there, all of these uh, icons have a custom theme look and they have a puzzle-like piece look. And this is called Masks, which is also... Uh, made by the developer of many great city tweaks, including Instant Mirror, which allows you to use your front-facing camera on a device that has a front-facing camera uh, as a mirror on your lock screen, and scrolling board, and much more useful city tweaks. So uh, all those icons are themed, and you can also change the look of the icons with the theme collections that you get with uh, this uh, with this city tweak. Now the next city tweak in this video is scrolling board. So as you can see right there you have your normal uh, dock at the bottom of your device and then you could actually uh, change it to be scrolling as well. So you do have a your iPod multitasking controls in your dock which is very useful depending if you uh, use those features. Uh, instead of multitasking you can just simply swipe over to the left to get your multi to get your music controls and all your multitasking controls as well if you swipe to the left again you see that there is a volume toggle with an airplay uh, feature and you can also download 
this uh, SB settings uh, extension for scrolling board. So as you can see right there, you do have your SB settings in your dock as well. So that is very useful. And a lot of Cydia Tweak has a scrolling folder as well as a scrolling dock all in one, which is very useful and definitely could be an Infini folders and Infini dock replacement. And this Cydia Tweak also does work with SB Rotator, which allows you to rotate your springboard and can be very useful if you also do use SB Rotator on your device. So the next Cydia Tweak in this video is Barrel. Now Barrel is very simple and it gives you custom a sliding page animations when you scroll to a different page. So as you can see right here, the icons scroll like, uh, so when you scroll through your pages, your icons have that custom animation right there as you scroll through your actual icons. And they, and now there also is a lot of, a lot more animations in the actual settings extension with Barrel, which is very uh, cool. So you can actually customize your device uh, so, as you can see, the icons are like that instead of the normal uh, page animations when you just swipe to the left or to the right, depending on what page you are on. So, the next Cydia Tweak in this video is Sleep Effects. So now, so basically what the Cydia Tweak enables you to do is have custom animations when you uh, lock your device, including uh, lots of an animations uh, which you can simply choose from in the actual settings extension and you also can use custom sounds when you lock your device with that custom animation which is very cool and you can uh, have different animations instead of the stock animation when you just lock your device. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is gridlock. Now basically what gridlock allows you to do is when you go into uh, a page, uh, you can actually change the arrangement of your icon so it's not normal like all of the uh, standard ones when you get your device or even when you jailbreak it. So it uh, so you can actually customize the arrangement of your icons. So what you do is just simply put your icons in a wiggle mode and then as you can see right there, you can have your icons not following the actual pattern of all of the icons and you can switch all your icons around. Useful if you are using a theme and it requires you to move your icons and this is definitely a replacement for eye blank so you don't have to keep on creating blank icons uh, so you can just use this instead. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is now the next Cydia tweak in this video is called multi-flow. Now multi-flow is an alternative to the standard iOS for multitasking and makes it a n much nicer interface than the multitasking and instead of the iOS for native multitasking that basically backgrounds every app that you open you have the choice to background whichever apps uh, that you want to. Now uh, this is very useful uh, in, so it doesn't slow your device and it requires le less RAM so that your device runs much faster. So for example if you uh, open up an app uh, for example the for example the settings app and you double uh, and you choose your activation method for example double tapping the status bar it actually multitasks uh, that uh, it actually multitasks that current window that is open. Now, if you open up another app, for example, the calculator app, you can see the app open along with another app uh, w with the settings backgrounded, and you can easily switch between them. And the interface looks much better than the current interface. And then, if you go back into the multi-flow settings, and then you you can also change the switcher style from the cards, which is much WebOS like in the Palm Pre, to an expose like found in the Mac. Uh, with the Mac like dashboard so then it looks very nice so this is very similar to the Mac multitasking then you can simply tap on the uh, on tap on the app that you want to go into and then you can see it looks much better than the current uh, iOS 4 native multitasking below now the next Cydia tweak in this video is my Y 4.0 on demand now this is a very great city app and by far is the best tethering client that you can possibly have on your iOS uh, 4 and above. 
uh, device. Now, as you can see right there, you have a very nice interface once you open up the uh, MyY app, and it says uh, it can also help choose which one is the best tethering. So it says laptops, iDevices, and others. So you can simply tap to toggle the status at the bottom. So you can just have a tethering which it creates a Wi-Fi net. So you can have tethering which creates a Wi-Fi network, and you can. Uh, choose between uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also many types of tethering, and it tells you which is the best tethering to have if you're using MyWi, and also uh, the one that uses less battery usage, and much more. The next City of Tweak will be the best City of Tweak that you can have on your iOS 4 and above device uh, that is definitely a must-have and is the number one best city of tweak. Now, uh, this city of tweak is called Open Notifier. Now, Open Notifier is very useful in uh, since it does have a notification system up by the on the status bar right beside the uh, battery icon, and it shows a uh, vibrate toggle whether your device is on vibrate or not, and it shows. At the top on the status bar as well as email notifications and also a custom notification that you can choose if you would uh, like to so if you open up settings so if you open up settings and go to the open notifier settings extension and then you tap on it you can uh, easily uh, enable and disable and it also sh uh, says enable uh, the silent mode icon or disable it as well as notifications for apps so you can add a uh, custom notifications for apps as well as badges for the actual so for apps that do not get push notifications you can actually enable the app store apps to get push notifications using this uh, tweet called open notifier so thank you for watching this video on the top 10 best city of tweaks that you can have on your iOS 4 and above device and uh, please be sure to subscribe uh, please like this video and thanks for watching